Hello and welcome to Beat the Blazer, only today it's a special edition, Olympic edition with uh, Jessica Hewitt, formerly of the Kamloops Longblades, now an Olympic silver medalist. Uh, thanks for being here today. Thanks for having me. Do you mind just showing the medal to the camera, picking it up and, and uh, giving us a look there? And uh, you know, what's it, what's it like to be an Olympic silver medalist? Feels pretty amazing, yeah. Especially coming from from Kamloops, you know, like we don't have a have a huge skating club here, and it, it took a lot of time and effort working working really hard to get to the point I that I have now. Well, I had some similar moments in my life as well here. Uh, that's a medal, and also <laughs> grade eleven athlete of the year. I don't know if you want to hold that. Okay, so that was what like over ten years ago. No, I. I think it's uh, we're pretty similar in many ways, both okay. uh, both incredible athletes. But I actually do have some tough questions for you here today. <laughs> now, it was a three thousand meter relay that you guys won, correct? Yeah. Now the Chinese placed second, uh, but they were disqualified after the race. How much money did you pay the judges to disqualify, <laughs> the, disqualify the Chinese? You or your coaches? How much money was paid to the judges? <laughs> um, I didn't pay the judges. Come on. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, we're all, you know, we're all good sports, so they, they made the call, it was a fair call, and we came back with the silver. Well, I've heard a few rumors that say otherwise. Uh, <laughs> there's also one more theory out there that's been floated around. Uh, the Chinese team trains in Kamloops in the summer, mm -hmm. uh, in very close quarters with your former coach, Sandy Vise. Did Sandy pay one of the Chinese <laughs> skaters to throw the race? Well, Sandy wasn't in Russia, so I think that would have been a bit difficult for her to pay one of the judges for being, she was in Kamloops watching, so I, I don't think that that happened. Well, there were multiple summers beforehand <laughs> where I think it was Yang Zhu, I heard they were very close, her and Sandy, so just throwing that one out there as well. <laughs> uh, do you feel like you deserve bronze and then not silver? Well, I mean, the Chinese, I believe, deserve to be disqualified in that race. They did a pretty dirty move in the last lap, something that you know, Korea and China have both done in the past at the World Cup, so it's nice that the judges finally recognized that and did disqualify them. Uh, well, we'll let the people decide in the end, really, <laughs> what they believe. Uh, you do have a busy schedule. You've been all over the map, yeah. um, touring around Kamloops. And what's it, what's it like to be uh, to be a hero now in Kamloops? It's pretty exciting. It's really fun. I Today I went up to the RLC. Uh, it's a school that I used to go to. And so that was really fun to be able to share my medal and my experience with those kids there. And I'll be doing that with the Kamloops Longblades tonight. Now you did leave Kamloops nine or ten years ago. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like you you, uh, you betrayed the city when you... <laughs> no, I still feel like the city is my home. I have a lot of really great memories from when I'm a kid and a teenager here. So it will always feel like home. And even though it's changed a bit, I still know how to get around the city. Well, during your absence, I've actually become number one in Kamloopsian's hearts, as you'll probably <laughs> find out tonight. And uh, tonight we are racing. Okay. Uh, we're going to go toe to toe. Yeah. Um, you know, what do you think your chances are of, of beating me out there tonight? Have you seen me skate? A couple times. Not too impressed. Um, <laughs> could have probably done a little better than you. Uh, but again, I mean, there's some features about me that must be scary. I mean, what are what scares you about me today? I think your eyes, like, they're a bit too big for your face. Well, <laughs> well, luckily that won't play a part because I do have uh, some jackhammer legs on me. And those are really more important in skating as I thought you thought you would have known. Um, what, what makes you so confident that you'll be able to come out on top tonight? I went to the Olympics and I got a medal. So. Again, the medal is in question as we've discussed, <laughs> but uh, the time for talk is over. Uh, I will wish you good luck and, and thank you for being here today. Thank you. You're now preparing for probably the biggest sporting event of your career, um, taking on Marty the Reporter Hastings. Uh, he's out there taking a practice lap right now. Have you had a chance to, to look at him? Uh, not, not quite, but you know, I, you know, I didn't even get a chance to sharpen my skates and I, I, feel, I still feel pretty good about it. After meeting Marty today, um, <laughs> do you have any predictions going in? I mean, the world is full of interesting people and um, I don't know, I, I, I hope he puts his best foot forward, but you never know what can happen in short track. How are you feeling going into this race? I'm pretty confident, yeah.
I'm here at the Olympic ice on MacArthur Island with Marty the reporter Hastings. Marty is about to take on Olympian Jessica Hewitt on the short track. Marty, how do you feel going into this? Well, time and time again, they send you out here, the worst reporter in the city, and I don't know why. You've come a long way from last time we were here for a short track race when you couldn't even fit into a skin suit. Well, that, again, was a manufacturer. It wasn't quite me or my weight at that time, uh, but I do fit into this one now nicely, actually. A little too tight, but for the women, they'll like that. I have had emails, many emails, saying, Marty, please, can you wear your skin suit when you do your next race? And uh, here I am today, again, pleasing the crowd, pleasing the city, especially the city's women, and I'm ready to go again today. Are there any potential equipment problems that you want to point out prior to hitting the ice? Well, this is a medium. I'm in a medium. Circulation's already cutting off. Um, well, these skates are Bush League, too. I didn't have my own personal ones here, so I had to use these Bush League skates, and that could slow me down potentially, but I, I'm not going to need any help today. It doesn't matter. I could be going bare feet and still beat her today, so no worries there. I have to ask, uh, do you see conditioning being a factor in today's race? Have you seen me today? Have you taken one good look at this body? And tell me about the fanny pack. Well, you're the last person I'd tell. So who's gonna win? So Jessica, you scored a pretty decisive victory out there. <laughs> What's going through your mind right now? Well, I wanted to make sure that I didn't have a false start because I know that Marty's been known to, you know, blame blame his losses on that. So I think, you know, that was my first uh, first thought, and then I just kind of went for it. I passed him on on the other side there, and then I, the end, I kind of twisted around just to look my competitor in the eyes. Marty, what are you blaming this loss on? Well, I did feel a slight nudge right off the get-go there. <laughs> Cameras probably caught it. I also just had a Wendy's and other than that, the skin suit's way too tight. It's uh, extra small. She probably planned it. At the end of the day, I, I, I won the race just due to her nudging me off the start. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. Thank you. All right.